What's going on, y'all? This is Locke, aka Black Dash 813. Um, I am just now starting my YouTube channel, so this is my first video. But anyway, um, my videos are basically gonna be talking about um the Bucks. That's my favorite team. So um I really feel like and I've been posting for the past couple months that this year coming up, you know, this NFL season coming up, which is starting very soon. I really think that the Bucks will be in the playoffs this year. I really think that we will be one of the six teams that make it to the big dance. I really believe that because uh, we're progressing very good. Um, last year we went nine and seven. The year before that we went six and ten. Um, we lost some tough games this year, man. Like it was a few games that if we would have just had one or two, you know, better like possessions. We would have won easily. You know, the Rams game, we could have we could have won that game. The Raiders game, that went you know to overtime. Like there was a few games that could have went our way easily just by one possession that could have been better. Um, tough games that we won. You know, like I said, we beat the Seahawks, came back and beat the Chargers and the Chiefs. So um, Panthers as well twice. So we have played very good this past year, and we had one offensive piece last year really consistent offensive piece in Mike Evans. Uh Cameron Bray, you know, did his thing a few times. Or, you know, he had a lot of touchdowns uh with with us. Um Doug Martin, he kinda was on and off, you know, he was hurt. But, you know, the running backs did their part. But I think the difference between this year and last year is we have a lot more depth on both positions, you know, or all three positions. So um, not only that, James is an, a year older, you know, into the league. So a year older and a year wiser. So just to see that and to know that, like, the expectations are a lot higher. You know what I mean? Like, I really feel like um, we're not hitting a 9-7 and seven this year, no matter who we play. Um, like I said, we were 6-10 and 10 his rookie year with a few pieces, and we come back um, this past year. We could have easily been, like, 11-5. You <laughs> know what I mean? Easily. If you switch the Raiders and the Rams game, we're talking about 11-5 and five instead of 9-7. and seven. So... Um, but that's neither here nor there. I think this season, um, we will see the difference in just the depth that we have, you know, offense and defense. You know, I barely touched on defense, but we will get to that. Um, I think we're just better all around team. I think Brennan Hargraves plays a lot better as well this year. So, um, like I said, man, I think that this is our second year with Mike Smith as well on defense. So just Really think that this year we're gonna be way better, you know, a much more mature team. Um, so I definitely will be posting a lot more videos for you guys and, and keep you guys posted because you know the Bucks is what I look at 24/7. You know, I'm always on the website, always on the app, you know, paying attention to everything that's going on. So um, just in the beginning, you know, probably until preseason, I'll be posting a video every couple of days, um, and then when the season officially starts, um, you know, first week against the Dolphins, probably that week I'll be posting a video every day. You know what I mean? So um, I'm excited, man. Like, I really feel like this this season is going to be very, very good. And then what makes it even better, we will have hard knocks, you know, covering us so we can see everything. You know what I mean? Like, we can, we can see what every position is looking like, how this person is with James, how the chemistry is on both offense and defense, you know, with Mike Smith and with Dirk Carter. So, um, that's going to be huge. You know what I mean? So, um, there's going to be a big surprises, uh, going on this whole season. So, and I definitely will touch bases with those as I do more videos. So, um, I definitely will be doing a predict prediction, schedule prediction video coming up. Um, one thing I will be doing is being, would not be as biased. <laughs> like I will be honest in what I really feel like is going to happen. There'll be some times where I really think that, I mean, I wish the bus can go 16, 16 and 0, but you have to be realistic sometimes. So, um, but again, I have high expectations for us. Um, obviously the person that's driving the bus is James. You know, he is, is his third year. Um, actually he was at Florida state when I was there. Uh, he won the championship the same time I was there. So, um, I really think this is going to be a great, great season. So I definitely would be keeping you guys posted. Um, you know, like I said, we will go through this whole season. Um, just don't be surprised, man, that we're in the playoffs. And not only are we in the playoffs, but we're in, you know, NFC divisional round or championship round, you know, possibly make it to the Super Bowl. So um, anything is possible right now. 
you know, it definitely the way it look, we have the depth and the, the, the players to do it. So, um, but yeah, man, I definitely keep you guys posted. Um, it'd be very exciting. And I really think that this season, um, we will have a lot, a lot of great support. Um, we will have fans coming out of nowhere. Um, the stadiums were packed last year. And I definitely went to the Seahawks game last year and it was very packed. So that probably was the biggest win the whole season, you know, against the Seahawks. So um, those little wins from last year kind of boost us forward and builds the confidence for heading into the season. So um, we'll have a big season coming up, man, and I'm really excited for it. So I'll just keep you guys posted, man. Um, as I said, like I said, this is my first first video. I'll be posting a lot more. Um, you guys can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, Black-813. Um, I will be posting my videos there, and um, we'll see how the season goes, man. So seize your day and um, have high expectations, man. It's a Bucks life. All right.